Hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where or when you're watching. It's me, your friendly neighborhood deacon, Deacon Gene, and it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. We made it to the weekend. Hooray for all of us. Yeah, that's good stuff. Good stuff. We made it to the weekend. And not only is today Friday, it's first Friday, and you know what that means. A little bit of a salute to the chairman. First Friday is with Francis Albert. If you get Sirius XM, listen to that. That's what our shave is going to have a little bit of in there. A little bit of Francis Albert, a little bit of the chairman. What are we shaving with today? Well, something new from the Hoff over at Hoffman's. Grit. It's a cowboy western type thing. And I know, I know what you're thinking. Deacon, you've gone off... The deep end with this one. What in the world does Cowboys have to do with Frank Sinatra? Ah, oh, weed hopper, I'll tell you. Frank Sinatra was in several Western-type movies, Western-themed movies. He was in Four for Texas, Sergeants 3, with the entire Rat Pack. He was in Johnny Concho, Dirty Deacon... Dingus, Dingus McGee, and the Kissing Bandit, just to name a couple of them. So there's your connection with Western and Frank Sinatra. See, I told you. That's what I do. I shave and I know things. Anyway, another reason why I'm doing the Western theme today is my grandsons, Cody and Clyde, are going to be in their first animal showing with Future Farmers of America, FFA, tonight here in Lockhart. So if you're in the area, you'll get to see them. I think one of them is doing a, a goat or a sheep, and the other one's doing a duck. So this is going to be interesting, to say the least. I'm going to be there cheering for them and rooting them on. Anyway, we're shaving with the grit from the Hof. Of course, you know me. That's the EDP. And there it is. There's the splash. I got the trifecta. Trifecta going. I've got my new Hendrix bowl brush sitting in some warm water. I'm really liking this brush. The reason I chose it today is because of the browns and the, the tans, kind of like the, uh, the leather of that a cowboy would wear. So that's that's what the reason I chose that. I got my Hendrix bowl. Let's go back to Mr. Sinatra. You all recognize this, I'm sure. This is the 1954 silver tip that he used in the tender trap. All right, let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. There's there's the pour, interesting pour. Hmm, that's nice. I'm gonna put the scent notes right, right in here, right in here, you'll see them. Tobacco leaf, now that doesn't mean, you know, nasty tobacco. From what I'm reading and learning, it's a somewhat sweet herbaceous Woody, kind of mossy with notes of hay, tea, honey, dried fruit, and hints of flowers, leather, and chocolate. Okay. Spice, vanilla, tonka bean, and tobacco blossom. And that one is completely different or somewhat different from the tobacco leaf where you've got hay and leather with some dry floral and it's, they say it's not very smelling like rich pipe tobacco or cigarette ash. Well, that's true. It does not. It's got a, I can pick up some of that vanilla, the spice, a little bit of the hay and, and the leather. That's what I'm getting out of this. Of course, your, your schnoz may 
differ. Your scents may vary. But, you know, as Hoff says, sometimes, as he introduces this, sometimes in life you get, keep getting punched in the mouth. It's your true grit that'll keep you moving forward. We proudly offer you grit. Well, the chairman was in a movie, believe it or not, with John Wayne. They did some cameos in it. I forget the name of the movie. I'll try to think of it later. But John Wayne always said in the, the movie True Grit, I believe it was, courage is being scared to death and saddling up anyway. Yeah, that's kind of the way I'm feeling lately. But hey, that's just it. Um, I've taken care of two of the three S's. I'm going to make a lather and I'll be right back. Hey, and we're back. Just finished making the lather. Look, look at that. Will you look at that? Nice, nice looking lather on here. Very good. Very nice. Mmm. Smells more of that leather is coming out in this leather. The leather and the vanilla in this really, really go together nicely. A little bit of the spice. And I think the tobacco blossom is what's hitting a lot. At least that's me. So anyway, like I said, or I think I said, I'm taking care of two of the three S's. Let's, uh, get to the third, shall we? Let's, uh, get to the shave. Let's put some water on the face. A little warm water today. Because it's a little chillier than normal here in the middle of nowhere, Texas. And hydration is important when you're shaving. Let's... Oh, wow. Got that Gene Simmons thing going on here. Switch hands. Nice and cushiony. Nice, nice and thick. I like it. I like it a little thick. Keep it clean. Of course, when I'm using a straight razor, I keep it a little less thick. Clear my lips so you can see what I'm saying. And I've got a Gillette 7 o'clock green loaded in this bad boy. Feels good. My personal opinion on the the green seven o'clocks, I think they're a little mild, but that's just me. Nice residual slickness on this, you can see that. It's got, got a nice scent. It's not that nasty tobacco. It's a, it's that sweet, almost sweet. But you can pick up definitely the vanilla, the leather. There is some hay in there, I think.
but Pop's got a good one on this, I think. Hmm. Operator error, probably. I think I know what I did. Mm-hmm. Know exactly what I did. Came in a little too much of an angle and didn't have it stretched. But, you know, it happens. It's not a gusher. Let's run and see how it did, huh? That's pretty good. Although I do think the blade is a little, little on the mild side. For me, anyway. A little more water. For my bougie sprayer. And yes, I still have the pink water bottle. There we go. So other than the FFA event tonight, I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. Church, obviously. And let's do the reverse. Still feels good. Nice glide. And there's that flapperation. Hang on. Will you shut up? Where was I? Oh yeah, shaving. In the weekend. Second pass is done. Just a little in here. And here, we are going to need the third. Didn't do the neck. Smooth move, Gene. I thought it felt extra slick when I started to check it. Turn it around because it's loaded. <laughs> the way I'm shaving today, you think I was loaded.
Yeah, I know it's five o'clock somewhere, but. That's a Jimmy Buffett song. I know. I know Frank Sinatra and Jimmy Buffett did do a duet. I forget which one it is. I'll think about it. Or if you think about it before I do, leave a comment. Speaking of which, hit that like. Hit that subscribe and notify. Like I say, it don't cost nothing. We're up to 288 as of this morning. We're getting there. We're getting to that 300. Oh, to hit 300. That'll be great. Can't wait. Now let's do a rinse. Eh, not bad. Let's just do a quick. My face was wet enough. Didn't need to re-wet it. But I know that this is the second use on this blade. I think with me, these blades are probably one and done or two and done at best. At least with this razor. Who knows? I might have tried this with a feather. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> the ghost flushed. And last pass on the neck. Yeah, I know. That wasn't the neck. That was chin. Saw a little shaving cream and mist. Might as well go over it. A little miss. Time for the old Allen block. All right. Third pass is done. Final results. Not bad. Just got a, always a little problem here. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Butamus. Let's get some cold water. I mean really cold water. Not just out of the shape. The, the bougie sprayer. Get some water on the old Allen block. Really liking the pet. <clears throat> Deacon broke his rule. Don't ingest the alum. There we go. 
Huff's towel. Let's give it a dry. My wife's hair <laughs> coming off the towel. <laughs> Hands, that, you know, that crazy, especially today. Who knows? Let's get some cold, cold water on the face. Dry it off. Toss. Hey, <laughs> you saw that. I missed. Totally. Anyway, it's time to shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that aftershave. Shake that aftershave. Come fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away. I put a little Sinatra in there today. And now the end is near. So I face the final aftershave. Oh. Folks, straight out. Leather and vanilla. Man. Big hit, leather and vanilla out of the out of the aftershave. Wow, good stuff, Hoff. Let's see how the this does. There we go. I had to prime it a little bit. It's the first use. Hey. Hay and leather. Hay and leather are top out of this. Vanilla and leather, bang, out of that. I'm sure on a dry down you'll get some more. Yeah, there's the tobacco leaf. All right. Great shave, good shave, you know, just a couple, but, you know, operator error. So, great. By Hoffman, my thought, good stuff. Had a nice cushion. If you like that, the, that Western type theme, this could be your jam. Definitely. Pick some up. Hoff's running a sale, I think. He's always running a sale. He's crazy like that. Anyway, that's our shave for today. If shaving's not one of the most exhilarating parts of your day, you might be doing something wrong. And as always, be good to yourselves and to each other. Have a great weekend and smooth shaves. Ciao for now.